All right, guys, here's a Terex HC-110, also known as a American HC-110. Terex and uh, American had combined, I'm not sure how many years ago, but it was, wasn't all too long ago. As you can see, their cranes are fairly new. So I'm going to show you guys around. I don't really know much about cranes, but I'm just going to show you guys around a little bit. So here's your undercarriage. Um, as you can see, the tracks are freaking massive. And uh, here's one of your counterweights here. This goes all along the undercarriage, which is definitely a unique design. You really don't see these on cranes from what I've seen. Um, drive sprocket, uh, safety cables to go around to keep people away, like me. Uh, right there is, I believe that's one of your signals to uh, indicate a turn or a um, slewing of the crane. Your counterweights back here. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any identifications on how much each one of them weighs, but you can see you have your safety stripes around the sides. And then your other side of the machine. Counterweight on the side of the track. And uh, up there are more of your safety cables. A uh, pair of gloves. Some oil or lubricant or something. Access ladder. And uh, the other track over here. As you can see here, this is your uh, joint, so then when you see the the crane being broken down for transport, they just pull these pins out that are right here, and uh, they slide the tracks out. The other side's also like that. See your hydraulic distribution block, your cab, all your levers, which uh, would confuse the heck out of me if I tried to operate it. So, And uh, right there is your horn. So basically a uh, Terex HC-110, there's your boom, and uh, your headache ball there on the end, your chain, pennant lines, and uh, your A-frame back there, so that's basically it.